I got some of the CRC226 that I use for my, on my track and all I'm doing is I'm dripping, uh, dipping the drill bit in there and that's going to aid in drilling out this marker because they're a little white metal and they're tough metal. Now we start drilling just with a pin vise and as we get it out we can take out the bit of scrap, put a bit of a bit more liquid on, and this really helps. When we come to doing the other side, Blackstone have glued this stepping plate and bracket on, so you've got to just get in at a slight angle so that you're missing the the plate and going up into the uh, into the uh, lamp itself and uh, drilling that out for the lead. Now we've drilled up, now we've got to drill through to make the uh, lens again we'll use the Dremel we'll just kiss this now we've got to start for the drill okay from the uh, first part of this video on classification lights we were uh, putting them together when you get the brass markers or lamps, once you've drilled them out, I put it into the black in it. You leave it in there, into the black in it, and we'll just leave that for a while. That's going to blacken it, and it's going to save you painting because the paint can build up and take away the detail of these fine little castings. So I prefer not to paint them and to use them, leave them as black. Okay, while we've been doing other bits, there's the chemical blackening. So the brass has now gone black, and that's just what we want. So we're keeping the detail. Here's another tip if you don't have yourself a, um, a lead tester, that you uh, can make your own. Get a 9 volt battery on the uh, negative side, put in a 1K resistor, just in line, doesn't matter which way a resistor goes, and a couple of clamps. Leads, you always see that one leg shorter than the other. Let's just say we've got the long ones positive and the short ones the negative. Uh, that's a simple way for people uh, non electronic to sort of understand it. Anode and cathode. So we're going to put the one with the resistor in on that one, and we do that one, and then you get the lead light up. So that can be a lead tester. You can just use that as a simple lead tester without having to uh, buy one. Okay, now it's time to uh, make up the uh, colour. I'm using the uh, Arlene's Clear Tacky Glue, so I'll put a little dob of this, uh, a bit of styrene here. So we'll start with the yellow, which is the X24, and we've got the X26, which is the orange. This is the Tamiya colours, so I put a tiny bit down. There's a bit of the yellow. Now I start bringing that in, and I can bring that in. You can start to see the tint working here. It's still a strong tint. And we're going to make a golden white lead. We're going to actually apply this onto the lead. If we put a little bit of orange with it, you can see the difference in colour how that's darker. We bring that in with the yellow. And we get our golden white. You can start to see the tint working there now we get it into the clear and we don't we don't want quite so deep a color there you go so there's a gold and white color that we're going to use now what we're going to do we can actually paint the lead itself so we look at the surface mount light package just put a tiny bit on there we do the second one again just onto the light package and it just gives it enough to tint it on the other side Laurie. yeah these are already being super glued so I just let that dry for 10 minutes and we can insert them okay that's the two marker lamps now working
and a couple of holes drilled through the front and to the back and uh, wide in series. Now they're ready to be installed back into the loco.